Hi guys, here again we just concluded another installation of a 6 kW inverter with a 2 unit of 5 kW lithium battery. I might not be saying much about this brand because I've been using them for some time, but some of you may want to ask this question. What is the reason for Ross using this 2 unit of 5 kW battery instead of using a unit of 10 kW battery? Anyway, I'll answer your question and your curiosity. For us, the 10 kW is out of stock, so we decided to use 5 kW each to parallel the two in order to get the same 10 kW unit. So each of these batteries is 48 volts, uh, 5 kW, 5 plus 5 will give us 10 kW, and um, uh, we have about 5,000 watts of solar power coming to this very guy here. This very guy have an inbuilt solar charge controller of 6,000 watts. That means it's capable of handling uh, the 5,000 watt solar PV without stress. And uh, aside that, we made sure we did the proper connection here that our inverter is communicating with the battery. So on the screen, if you touch the screen, you know, the battery will only show you the bar. It will not show you the percent. It will show you the battery bar and the battery voltage. If you want to know the amount of energy left or the percent of energy left, all you have to do is to touch your inverter screen because the inverter and the battery are communicating together. So it will show you the percent. Now the output load which is being consumed is just 2% and uh, that's around 106 watts while the BMS, from the BMS we are consuming like 5 amps that is the amount of current being drained from this 2 unit of 5 kilowatt battery and uh, if you can see the battery percent left right now on this battery is 36% so we have 36% energy left on this very battery so it's a, it's a new installation, the battery haven't got into charge because we just finished uh, the panel installation this evening. We didn't even get to uh, do video with the solar panels, but anyway, I'll still pop up the video, the little one we did. So aside that, like I told you guys, we made sure we did the proper connection. This battery is communicating with this battery and they are communicating with the inverter. Now look at this, if I put this battery off, the second one also will go off. You can see everything is off once you put this battery off this one will go off that is how it works and once the inverter senses uh power coming from the pv it will now keep the uh, batteries on in order for it to work proper so everything here i can say is the perfect communication sorry the light will come back on i trip the battery off so that you see how the two batteries are communicating one is the secondary and the other is primary so this is primary while this is secondary because from this is being communicated to this very inverter so the communication between these three systems is very perfect so this installation was done in otu jeremy delta state nigeria so like i told you guys on the roof we have uh, five kilowatt of solar power and here is the six kilowatt seawalt uh, inverter the battery also is seawalt battery each of these batteries 14 volts five kilowatt then uh, two of these gives us 10 kilowatt hour. So this can power your, your microwave, you can power your TVs, you can power your fans, you can power your, your lighting points. But make sure if you want to enjoy this system at night because you can only consume 80% out of this. That means instead of the 10 kilowatts, you only consume 8 kilowatts. So in order for you to enjoy this system very well at night, your load should exceed 800 watts or even 700 watts if you want it to stay overnight because if you are consuming 1000 watts per hour it will take you eight hours to drain this battery from 100 percent to zero percent so don't forget if you have any question you can drop your question i'll respond to your question and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i am the solar god the surest solar clock